so hey what is up everyone this is Ken here welcome back to tech Care and youtube channel you already know that android 12 the developer preview beta 2 you can say is now there for the redmi note 9 pro users or you can say redmi note 9 s users and this is actually only for the redmi note 9 pro or cortana users it's not a me a toll bill so cannot be installed on other devices but if you have redmi note 9 pro you can install this build right now on your device this is android version 12 which has some new ui changes and i have a dedicated video already available that which are some new changes you are getting in android 12 developer port i'll provide you the link in the i button and also alongside with this in the description box but uh, let's talk about the installation which is one of the main things the thing is it's actually not usable at least for me it's not good as good as you can use it as a daily driver it's not usable as a daily driver so i don't think so there are some things like that i should make some deep reviews about this for example let me show you some brief things here we have some new ui changes new switches icons and some new interesting ui which you don't get mostly in android version 11 also in this you have the transcode exported media which is not available in the android version 11 but you are getting this in android version 12 which is actually quite good and talking about other things as i previously shown you the ui in the quick settings is actually interesting one this looks quite good and also here we have three up down option styles and wallpaper at the top and home settings at the bottom this is also kind of a change style includes some extra options and if you talk about the grid options we have a new grid option available called 4 by 5 now we have approximately 5 grid options available but in android version 11 we got only 4 let me show you bug which i got here for example if i talk about the camera the gcam 8.1 is actually working but it's not that much great it's just lagging lagging like a hell as you can see it has a lot of lags actually and also in the media player where i don't have the good kind of media options the video was not working fine the video player was actually not working fine google camera is not working fine a lot of bugs actually so i that's why i just told you that it is not usable as a daily driver the best thing is if you talk about the hey google it's there and it's just working good i haven't tried it yet but the option was just turning on that is actually quite good talking about other things which you get in this android 12 developer port developer preview almost same as it's a developer preview so don't expect much things as we have new ui things use nightlight and everywhere the switches are actually changed but nothing else like that even if you talk about the other options whenever you op whenever you open anything it just stucks there for some of the seconds and then it just open like that and it just open a sub menu or any option i mean any of your settings and any other apps so it's kind of a buggy build of course a developer preview and don't expect much things but yes if you still want to try it out how you can install it it is one of the main things to think about let me tell you that it includes the fingerprint options available and fingerprint is just working perfectly fine which is actually good but yes as i previously told you if you want to install it you can but in my opinions in my preferences this is not actually usable as a daily driver but if you still want to try it out maybe for a one hour two hour or maybe a day or more than a day it's just up to you we have some force closes i'm getting them but i was actually not interested in using because of the performance the performance is actually not looking good so this is one of the reasons why i don't want to use this build on my device let me tell you which are the files required to install this build on your device so make sure you have an sd card because we need to format the data these three files are required to install this build on your device which is actually quite easy let me just turn off my device once boot into the recovery and as expectedly orange fox custom recovery is recommended for you if you're using any other custom recovery i'm not responsible for anything happened to your device it's recommended recovery is actually orange fox custom recovery let me boot into orange fox custom recovery once and after that how you can install it actually it's quite easy but the thing is you need to format your data once so better make sure you have a proper backup in case something goes wrong 
and we need to format data so make sure you have files in your sd card or maybe your pen drive otg wherever it was you want to you want to store those files uh, for your device as you can see we have the encrypted storage which is actually not working in orange box custom recovery just use and follow these steps which are showing on screen right now for you go to format data click on yes and after that it will take some time to format data on your device depends upon how much data you have on your device after that just after formatting all the data which you have here in your device so simply move here then as i have sd card here make sure you also have sd card or any external storage select all these three files katana firmware firmware is also link in the description and positive and kernel all these three links is in the description click on install and after that just done and you're good to go and it will be booted successfully this is all from today's video i hope you like this don't forget to like and share this video goodbye Like I'm floating through the air The pain I felt is pain